I'm Chef Tao, and I'm going to introduce you to my blackened pork chop that I want to prepare for you. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to tell you a few things about myself. Okay, first thing, I got my pork chop here. It's a nice thick cut. I'm going to go ahead and dip that in my blackened seasoning. I'm going to adjust the oven, uh, the grill temperature. We want that pan nice and hot. We're going to put it on high. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the blackening sticks to the chop itself. And then we're going to sear that. We got a little olive oil in here. Okay. Now you're going to hear a big sizzle there. And while we're going to do that, we're going to go ahead and check our oven temperature. 350. I like to cook things spicy because I'm spicy. My personality is spicy. You know, I'm made up of different ethnicities. So I best describe my cooking style as basically fusion. I take a little bit from here and I take a little bit from there. And we put it together and make some yummy goodness out of that. Okay, we got a pan here. If you're gonna if you're gonna blacken something, I recommend that you don't leave it in the pan for more than 15 to 20 seconds. As you can see, I've already got that blackened. Got a little smoke coming off of that. That's good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and press that side down. Okay, into a 350 degree oven. It's gonna go 25 minutes. But through some magic that I prepare, we already have one ready. And if you look at this, look at how beautiful that is, okay? That's done, we got, we got that done to medium, I mean, uh, it's gonna be medium well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we got all this goodness in the pan, we're gonna deglaze it now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take a little, we got some green onions, we have some arugula, we got a little chard, some red chard, some red cabbage, and we're going to go ahead and put just a couple of jalapenos in there to kick that spice up. And a little lime juice. We're going to toss that. Just enough. Not overcooking it. And this is all, all organic because I have a saying, fresh is always better. I'm going to bring that chop over here. We're going to go ahead and do a nice little glaze there. You know, I spent 20 years in the Navy. And during my 20 years, I traveled a lot throughout the world. And one thing I've always did is I always wanted to know what people were eating. Because you can always get to know a person by what they're eating. Their personality. Uh, we got some, I made a Chipotle barbecue. We're going to go ahead and just put a little bit of that right there. We're going to do it on all four corners. This is just going to be part of our overall garnish. And like I was saying, getting to know people by the food that they eat will definitely put you in touch with the country that you're visiting. Okay, we'll go ahead and just, uh, it's pork, it's white meat. So what I like to do is we're gonna serve that with a, with a white wine. And as you can see, this will be something that will impress your guests and make you look like a true White House chef. So that concludes my lesson. Thank you.